So 2023 is practically finally over, so let's take this moment to piss off a few people and rank the best movies from 2023. This is in no particular order. First up, it's Wonka. This was by far my favourite film of the year. It was so light-hearted and I had such high expectations going into this film because I loved the original 1971 film and the film actually exceeded my expectations. Next up is Oppenheimer. This film was absolutely incredible, the way it was made, the, the way that they just used as many practical effects as possible. I really love watching a film and thinking, how did they do that? And knowing that Chris Nolan was behind this and his love of practical effects, it really did spark that something in me. Next up, it's Barbie. I am nowhere near qualified enough to say how important this message is, but the Barbie film was just absolutely incredible. The fact that the most successful film of the year is female directed, female produced, and also female led is absolutely incredible and it's about damn time. From the women I've spoken to about this film, they have just all said the same thing. It's literally hitting the nail on the head. And for those Muppets out there who seem to think it's man hate it's not it's just telling the truth it's just flipped the entire world on its head and it's absolutely incredible and well written next up it's Guardians of the Galaxy 3 once again a very important message against animal cruelty as well as us seeing a final ending to the Guardians of the Galaxy James Gunn really did knock it out of the park with this one yet again and I'm glad that he didn't kill off any of our favorite characters just for the sake of killing characters off next up is a film that I didn't think was going to hit this list but it's actually Napoleon I really did love this film because I love a comedy and I was really surprised to see that this dramatic, more serious film was actually in fact very comedic in places. The battle scenes were extremely beautiful and genuinely it, I just really enjoyed this film. I know a lot of people are saying it's long and boring but I really didn't find it that long and boring. Yes it did feel long at some places but I genuinely do think the battle scenes and some of the other scenes did really make up for that. I've seen this one on some people's worst films of 2023 and that's Leave the World Behind. I absolutely loved this film. I really have gotten into the whole apocalyptic genre of this year and knowing that former President Barack Obama and Michelle Obama were actually behind this and actually helped consult on the script so this is actually what's going to happen. I think that just really added to the whole thing and made it feel a lot more believable than realistic. And I know a lot of people have been claiming that this is some sort of mouthpiece for the Obamas but I disagree, I just think it's a really nice film. And finally today, it's Priscilla. This film really did surprise me because I really did love the Elvis film that came out a couple of years ago with Austin Butler. And I kind of thought, how are you going to release this two films quite similar, quite close together? I thought, it's a bit of a risk. But this film really did do a completely different story. Obviously, Priscilla was focusing more on Elvis's wife, Priscilla Presley. And I like the fact that they did highlight some of the more creepy and not so pleasant aspects of Elvis's personality and, well, life story. Unlike the Elvis film, they didn't gloss away from the fact that Priscilla was actually underage when they met and underage when she was visiting him in his own bedroom. 